Hello, you guys. We need a, another uh, quick haul I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, I went to Michael's, uh, Hobby Lobby, and Joann's, but I didn't find what I was looking for, so I just picked up a few items, and I just wanted to share with you guys, just let you see what things I found. Uh, there was a YouTube uh, video that uh, I believe it was Shimmy that picked up the uh, Despicable Me cards. So I found those and hopefully I can do a pocket letter or something with these guys, which I love minions and they're pretty funny. So I picked those things up. Uh, let's see what else did I find. And at Michael's, they were still having a lot of the flowers and the bows. And I didn't have any flowers, so I picked up some more flowers. Hope you can see that. Hopefully not a glare. So those are really cute. And I found some bling, some pink. So let's see. And white. So those would be nice to add on to journals or pocket letters or what have you. And these flowers, uh, they look like mulberry, which I don't have any uh, mulberry flowers, so I'm not really sure uh, what they look like, but these are what I'm going to call my mulberry flowers. And they're pretty. They'd be nice to add to a project. And I have these bows. Uh, don't have a bow die cut, so cutter. So what I'll do is probably just trace them and make some more bowls. But those are really pretty. And I keep passing them up. So this time I just went on and picked up a pack. And let's see. At Hobby Lobby, these things here were from Joanne. And that was a Dollar Tree item there. Uh, Hobby Lobby had a small little sale. I got this tag and sack. And gold is a pretty uh, popular item now with the you know projects, all the projects going on. So I picked those up. They were on sale for dollar fifty cent. And I found these uh, gold binder clips. Let's see if you can see them. Hopefully they're not really yet a glare is bad. But yep, I found these. And they were $1.99. And I picked up some polka dot bows, some little black. I have a project that I'm going to be adding some bows. These look like they might be a little too large. So if they are, I'll have to uh, either cut them down or try to make my own. So those are little polka dot. Those are really pretty. And I found another. Uh, well, I got another. I didn't find uh, black and white with the little white pearl. So that'll be about the size that I really I think I need and I also got a few more bling items here uh, some sequins I've been uh, I've seen these in the shaker cards so I want to try my hand at making the uh, shaker cards which would be really pretty so I got this uh, clear like iridescent and this is pink and I found a blue, like a turquoise, looked like to me. So those are real pretty. And also some uh, purple bling. I have a project that I have to do. I want to do something in purple. And these were $1.50 at uh, Michael's or Joanne. Might have been at Michael's. Also, I got some lobster claps for some of my... Uh, little danglies that I need to make so those I got those on sale so those are a neat deal and it's 30 in a pack Let's see what else here. Uh, Hobby Lobby I found the Tim Holtz uh, tonic it's a rotary perforator and I'm not sure I've seen this used but I'm not sure if this is the right one but hopefully I'll be able to use it on a project or something. And if anyone knows how to use it, just could you 
drop me a comment let me know and this was $3.99 so I got that on sale and also I have um, another Tim Holtz item a paper distresser so hopefully uh, I can use this uh, sort of like the the Zutter so maybe one day I'll be able to find it but this was on sale originally it was $5.99 and I got it for $3.59 so that was a nice little deal that I found Let's see. I'm sorry about moving my arm so fast I also picked up some paper I found this Kirby Teasdale uh, 120 paper pack by Paper Studio. I don't know if you can be able to see the different papers that they have inside. I didn't open it, but there's some really, really pretty papers. And my light is not probably picking up this too well. But they're uh, floral papers and birds so I thought that would be pretty really pretty on a project okay so yeah 120 sheets so that's a nice uh, paper pack that also was on sale all the paper was on sale for 50% off at least most of it and I also had to pick up another authentic because this paper I'm really in love with because of all of the Paris uh, theme projects that are up in in different swaps and hops and things of that nature so I bought that again and that was really pretty and it was on sale which they're $7.99 so I got that half price and what else did I find today oh I have some paper that I found I was uh, watching a swap today and this paper, one of the ladies was using, it was so, so pretty. Really, really cute. And she had a carriage, like a Cinderella carriage that was made from it. And this is the paper. I don't know if you can see it. It's really pretty. Uh, let's see. It's uh, by Paper Studio. Uh, cotton candy and it actually looks like cotton candy so I got two sheets so I would uh, be able to have one for another project and also I have I don't have like a uh, the mink to use the gold and with that heat thing that you have to use so I just got the gold paper to make some projects with and I got two sheets of that. So hopefully that glare is not too bad. Which is really pretty. To kind of stamp out like letters and names and uh, things like that. So that, oh, I have a couple more items. I'll make this one pretty brief because I know the last video I did was super, super long. And I apologize for taking so long. And this lovely little bag I found at the thrift, one of my thrift stores. And I thought it would be nice to alter it. I only paid, it was $3. And I thought it was really shabby, shabby, shabby chic. And it has uh, rhinestones here on the clip. And one of them are is missing, but that's no problem. I have plenty of rhinestones, Roski crystals or whatever, and I'll just... Uh, attach that back on so yeah this is uh, really pretty inside uh, banana republic so I thought that would be a cute little bag I don't know if I'll ever get to use it but I would like to alter it and make a nice little project real pretty okay and this is another item that I found at the thrift store and this is for my granddaughter it's a silk screener, so I would like for her to start uh, doing something with her own little t-shirts. 
and this was only two bucks so that was a nice little item that I found and they have different uh, other I guess designs that you can use so yeah I got that and I guess that will do my haul for today oh, except for these two little pins I don't see the other one on that oh here Well, this is the pink one. Uh, studio. And I don't see the color on here, but it's a fine liner. And a really pretty pink. Yeah, I don't see the color pink. But anyway, we know that it's pink. Sorry about that. So yeah, that was my haul. Just wanted to share with you guys. And thanks for stopping by and watching. And hope you enjoyed the video.